As always guys, this is just for entertainment purposes only, this is not financial advice. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So there is a new company that started to trade, it's called Cult Food Science. Those of us who are already invested in the cultured meat or the cultivated meat uh, world <laughs> are probably up to date on that this company has started public trading. But we're, we're of this channel, we're amazing fans of uh, cultivated food and I haven't tried it personally, but really as soon as there's a chance in Europe, I'm going to jump on the occasion. I'm definitely going to post on it on this channel. So the latest uh, we had before MITC, so Meatech 3D that's currently publicly creating. And then the, the other one, Agronomics, I have videos of both of them on my channel. And then now we have the third one, which is also like Agronomics, a venture capitalist firm. And we of course want to know, is it worth it to invest? Of course, we fully support what they're doing. We support their me message, but we also want to know, can we invest in this company? Is it a good investment? Let's start on their site. So um, <laughs> thanks to their direct listing, you can finally see uh, or thanks for listening, don't, don't think they listen directly. Uh, but we can finally see um, what's behind all these companies, what are the numbers. Because we can see a few exciting companies, right? Like um, Just Goods, like Just Goods, they're already selling cultivated meat in Singapore. They're building a factory in Qatar. Uh, gotta love them. Uh, can't wait until they come to Europe. Um, and uh, Melbio, come on, uh, Melbio, sorry. So they have, uh, they're having honey. So I have, I have here their site. I mean, we need bees, all of them. So uh, I, I am wondering, like a lot of people, they are keeping bees for the honey. So if you can now just get honey for free from, well, easier from factories, uh, would still be worth to keep bees. So that's not the only thing I'm wondering about. Um, nobody is really stealing honey from wild bees, right? They're stealing uh, honey from bees they're breeding for their honey. So I do have some doubts about that. I have to read up on this one. Um, but yeah, generally like the idea of uh, print fermented honey is uh, really exciting to me. Um, and then we have a bio valley, we, we know it from agronomics. So they're um, fermenting chocolate. Uh, then, um, yeah, Mogali, a meat company, uh, also uh, located in South Africa. And I've actually been to South Africa, and these guys have like the best meat <laughs> on the planet. Um, yes, yeah, sorry guys, I do eat meat, not a lot, but uh, some. And um, like uh, the diversity you have there, but the food, I mean, the food in South Africa is amazing. and. Uh, if they could cultivate that meat, I would jump on that opportunity. Uh, diversity is great, so really, really liking them. Um, and uh, what else do we have here? Uh, meat tech is mentioned, but it's not in their direct listing statement, so I'm not really sure what I should think of it. Then you have 3DBT, this is actually a listed company, and they've invested, uh, or they are investing in cultivated leather. Uh, so that's also quite cool to have that. So it's an indirect, indirect investment. Um, also, just good, by the way, is also an indirect investment. Um, uh, e, e just is named a company and they um, they have invested in good meat or something like that. So it's uh, also indirectly. Um, and then we have uh, Cell AG Tech, also one I like a lot. Um, it's because they've uh, they are about seafood and I actually eat uh, I, I fish and I know how expensive fish is so the margins are probably better so as an investor I think um, yeah fish it's it's probably also easier to get approved so uh, really liking that um, so I dug into the statement it's a little bit boring <laughs> it's 150 pages uh, but I do know how to what to look at and um, yeah, one one thing that's very interesting is that they do have for every company 
they display how much they invested, how much percentage they have. And I can actually use this information to value the company. So the other interesting thing is how many cash they have, uh, how many cash they have in store. So they do have uh, 1.98 uh, million in cash of working capital. Uh, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, well, for a small company. Um, but they do have most of it already allocated. So they plan to kind of uh, spend most of the cash. So we're seeing a lot of spending uh, here. So operating expenses, by the way, operating expenses for the budget for 2022. Just seeing they spending a lot on marketing and investor relations. The one thing I did see a lot was that they posted, uh, or someone posted a post on Reddit saying, oh, cult food side is coming. And then when people asked questions, the topic poster was nowhere to be seen. So I'm guessing that's the marketing agency that didn't really do a very good job uh, because they, they just made people aware. But people were already aware they had questions and they were not answered so that's a bit frustrating anyway that doesn't matter uh generally what i like about this company is really what they are investing in uh this market it just needs more investors i just hope that they will not overspend on marketing um i think everyone who is interested in uh, cultivated food probably has heard from them by now um, and uh, we can see also for the listing that's interesting to remember is that they started the list uh, yesterday actually on January the 18th uh, the share price has gone down a little bit uh, currently it's, it's trading at Canadian dollars of 0 0.23 uh, the question is is that justified is that price justified let's go have a look So I put all the information that I found in the in the listing statement in the in my Excel, uh, where I can calculate uh, how much the company is currently worth. So we're looking. Well, if you want to know this, the NAV uh, per share. So what we're what we're seeing is they have two million in cash. Of course, we know that around ninety percent of that cash is already allocated, so that should almost be zero point two. Um, but let's ignore that for now and then you have uh what we're seeing is that a lot of the investments are in seed and pre-seeds uh, there have been there's one in series d but we're looking at egypt it's mentioned on their website but it's 0.01 percent so almost not worthy to mention it um, and then we have one series b fiction foods where you have 2.5 percent and one series A, uh, where they do have 3.85%. Their biggest is Mogal Meat, uh, with a share of 6.4%. Uh, but when we're looking at all of this, we're seeing that their current value is 5.9. And we know already a lot of this would be spent. Uh, that's a part of the cash will be spent. We also know the total number of shares because that's in the listing document. That's 151. That includes 12 million options and 139 million shares. And what do we get at NAV? We get 0 0.04. We know it's currently listed at 0 0.23. So it's about um, yeah about 500% higher than the actual NAV is. If we know, if we can recall agronomics, we're probably looking at a premium of 30 to 40 percent. You're looking at a premium of 500 percent. Um, I think you, if you want to invest in this company, I think the main thing you have to ask yourself, what are they going to do with the money uh, that I'm investing? I think what we're seeing here uh, lots of the investments have been quite recent, so it's all this year, uh, even if the company exists since 2019, all in the second half of last year. Uh, and in August, actually, that's when they announced they would IPO, and that's when they kind of did their first investment. So that's, that's a little bit uh, strange, but uh, okay. Um, but I think what you have to ask as your mesmer, 
okay now cult food signs they got uh, this extra money from from the listing uh, i hope i expect that they would get quite a lot of extra money from that what are they going to do with it um and i haven't really found that yet <laughs> because um they have not been that open uh, with their future plans so um me personally i will probably wait until at least one earnings uh, to invest um but if you say um wow look at what they've done in the past in this market uh they did a really good job then you might actually consider uh to put in some money now already um we'll see we'll see um i'm hoping to see some actual announcements uh, there um and i'm looking forward to hearing more i will definitely be keeping my eye on this company uh on this venture capitalist company and see what they will do So if you are interested in this company or in just like my channel, please like, please subscribe and see you next time.